I'm changing oil on my car today and uh, I've got some very strong magnet I salvaged from these old hard drives and today I'm gonna try and do an experiment I wanna see if I can use the magnets to uh, capture some of the uh, metal dust that's accumulated in my oil filter these magnets are very strong in fact it's too strong that just got stuck to the other magnet and it broke in half <laughs> just gonna put it on top here and then uh, these I'm gonna put it on the side like that okay so now we get the new one in We got some magnets on the bottom here. Tighten all the way in and back up about one eighth of a ton. That's it. Now let's put some extra magnets on the side over here. Let's see one over here. One on the other side. That's it. Here's what it looks like from the top. Get the magnet off, okay, Daddy? Is this wicks? Whoa, this is wicks. Right, so here is the oil filter, just removed from my car after 5,000 miles. I try not to move the magnets too much, otherwise the metal shavings are going to fall off. So next I'm going to use my angle grinder and cut it out and see what's inside. All right, so moment of truth. Let's pull this out. See what we got inside. That's that. All right, so here it is. This is the top. This is the bottom of the case. Let's first take a look at the top of the filter. You can see there right in the center, we have a lot of particles stuck right in the center inside the spring let me get the spring out and looks like they are arranged in the shape of my magnets but if you look up close you see the particles looks pretty much similar to the one on the side which came from when I used my angle grinder to cut the casing of the oil filter. So all of these particles, the one in the center and the ones on the outside, they all came from the same source. They came from when I used my angle grinder to cut away the top of the casing. Now let's take a look at the casing itself. You see it captures some of the particles on the side here where my magnet is. Some here and some over here right there now let's take a closer look at these particles they all have the same shape and sizes and they all have the same color same as the ones on the top here of the rim you see that these so they all came from the same source when I cut the metal casing of this oil filter. 
So these particles are not from the engine oil, but rather from when I cut the oil filter out with my angle grinder. Well, if you look close enough, you'll see some dark spots around the shape of the magnets. These are very small and fine shavings coming from the engine that are captured by the oil filter. You can't really see these shavings because they are only about 20 to 50 microns. But you can see when they clump together to form some dark spots around the magnet area. As you can see, there are not a lot of these and they could have been captured and stayed inside the oil filter without the help of the magnet. These micrometer size shavings are normal wear and tear of the engine and they are always there, unless you have them in larger size and significantly more copious amount. There's nothing to worry about. Without the magnets, the filter would have captured this just fine. The point is, you just need to get a good filter and you'll be fine without these magnets. So what is the verdict? Does the magnet capture any bad particles that come from your oil? The answer is absolutely not. As you can see, it doesn't actually do anything at all. It's either because of that or because my car does not produce any shaving at all. No wonder why it's 200,000 miles on the odometer and it's still going strong and I've never had any problem at all with this car. And that's all for now folks. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. And this is everything we've got inside the oil filter.